Yeah. So Bryce, what would you do if you if you had 100? Sleep, sleep. I don't do it enough. Sleep. But you sleep have too much free time. It. You don't even need to sleep, sleep that much. 200 days I'm sleeping. And today, we're talking about mental health. Mental health. Got one. That's okay. Weird. I'm at a point where I don't even know the point I'm at, but I'm at a point felt felt. <laughs> I read that yeah. and I was like thinking about just being an adult and I'm like what am I doing? Where am I in space? Like, I'm not a kid. I'm not, what, what should I be doing? Am I doing it right? Yep. I just, like, I do not know, but I also am like, I am existing. I'm like, I'm in a perpetual state of being. Do y'all feel like, does anybody relate to that? Without a doubt, without a doubt. You know, obviously we all went through something the last two years. And for me, it makes me think about um, last year in particular. Um, I was working on a major network show. I was delivering everything that I needed to deliver, but as far as me, I completely neglected me. And by the time I realized that I was empty, like completely depleted, there was no way back up. Mm -hmm. For me, in that that. moment, I was like, yo, why didn't I call? Why didn't I call somebody, ask for help? My overall message is to everybody, like, reach out. You know what I mean? Like literally reach out. I think that's probably the most important thing that anyone can do. I know true. it may sound very cliche and it's cheesy, the truth. but it's either that or you, you lose yourself. Yeah. I'm kind of at the point where some days I wake up and I feel like I know everything. Right. And then the next day I wake up and I'm like, okay, so none of that makes sense. And I'm starting from zero. So I go up and down. Like I really have my strong moments. That's like, I appreciate the saying, like, check on your strong friends. Yeah. Because even if you ask, like, hey, are you okay? I'm good. Like, what about you? Like, how yeah. are you yep. feeling? But the next day, I'm not going to call back and be like, so after further review, <laughs> I think I do need, do you have a minute? <laughs> after to, a check-in. You know what I mean? Yeah. After a check-in. No, I feel exactly what you're saying. It's like some sometimes I'll just really think between like that kind of back and forth struggle between work and like your personal life. Mm-hmm. And I've often felt like when I'm not working, if I'm not grinding, if I'm not doing something that I feel like is pushing me further in my career, I feel like I'm doing a disservice to myself instantly. Like I feel like guilty when I'm having fun. Like I've mm-hmm. caught myself before at like parties, hang out with friends or different things like that. And I'm like, no, someone else my age is doing something else. Someone else right. my age is like grinding hard right wow. now. Someone else my age is a multimillionaire at 18. But that's why when I saw this meme, like it was really speaking to me on how I've been feeling the last few months, especially like during like the whole like pandemic, mm-hmm. it's felt like the last two years. It says when I'm 25, I'm gonna buy my own house, buy my own car and live my own life, me at 25. Who's gonna tell That's me him? actually, like not at a little mom. beyond 25. <laughs> Those things did not yet happen. <laughs> And it's so crazy because yeah. you think like this and it, it reminds like this is a never ending cycle. You're 20 thinking those things. I'm closer to 30 and I'm like, he bought a house. The fuck am I doing this yeah. my damn life? Get it right. And I'm over here like, oh, bitch. I've been on both sides. Yeah. Where I was completely oblivious to what was going on and I was in my own world and I was like, yo, I got it in the bag. Like, can't nobody fuck with me. But then on the flip side, I've been there where I was like, wait, hold on. Wait, this person is my age and he's doing such and such. He kind of looks like me. Like, Maybe I need to be doing what he's doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I feel like just really just being in your own bag and understanding who you are, that's where the money is. Exactly. Do you understand? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Because that's right. no fun looking at somebody else on social media and comparing. The thing is, is that you can't compare your chapter one with your chapter 27. Like we all struggle with that. We have our different ways of coping. Mm-hmm. Mine, I like an edible. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I don't mind just it? take. Never again. I don't mind taking it? the edible and. Oh wait, hold on. Like it talks about like eating an edible. How you go from like nothing's happening. I still don't feel nothing. Let me call the person who gave me this edible, and then next thing you know, you're like, actually, I think I need to call an edible. That's why I stopped doing it. Actually, this like the edible will take you to almost where people are like, well, what did you take? And you're like, I like. Is it like y'all, can y'all hear when your heart beating? When I tell else? you, my my soul left my body. Mm-hmm. All Star Weekend, twenty nineteen. Okay. Um, so I, I hit the joint a little bit. I hit the, I, you know, I smoked a little bit. And I'm hungry, so I'm going in the kitchen looking for I a snack, you. looking for a snack, and my friend had some candy. Okay. I'm like, bet I'm gonna fuck up these little sour whatever. Yeah. Whole bag Girl, of well, edibles, well, bitch. Those were when not I tell sour. You, I called my mother by like day two, like I'm still high. Day two. I don't, no, I was high day for four days. Four days. <laughs> I ate over like a couple hundred milligrams. Okay, you I gotta go. No, I'm dead at, I probably Where's have like keys? 25, and to this day, if I smoke something, I'll be like, <sighs> having flashbacks. You know, I try to stay away from edibles because I did have a slight little scare moment. Okay. So I was like, you know what? 
let me just try like a bong, you know? So my friend- Check it out. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. I, I am new to the world of smoking That's marijuana. Do you hear me? Yeah. So I was like, listen, I can't trust an edible, so let me just try a bong. My friend yeah. came over, I put my mouth on the top of that bong. Oh he lifted, he was like, keep smoking. He said, keep breathing in, keep breathing in. I kid you not, I was standing up and on the floor in 2.5 <laughs> seconds. And I realized that I was on the floor. My friend is high as a kite, literally still talking to me. You did really good. You only my friends, they like hop up along. I said, Michael. Alone. I oh, this am, is an experiment. I said, I said, Michael. This is an experiment. I'm on the floor. He was like, no, but you did really good. But the fact that you <laughs> started I'm a sorry, bong, y'all. You didn't say I hit it, I hit a single, a bomb. I like, didn't, that's for people who smoke. You went I from did, zero to the big league. You I did not understand. In my mind, I was like, Aww. oh, that's just smoking. I, listen, listen, y'all, I gotta bring this up. Oh. Speaking of having fun. Listen to this. Okay. Medieval peasants, <laughs> listen. Ooh. Medieval peasants worked only about 150 days out of the year. The church believed it was important to keep them happy with frequent mandatory holidays. I'm going back to church. Y'all. We're back in Y'all. ministry. We literally have less time than medieval peasants. That's disrespectful. Do I feel like we'll be do doing that. sacrilegious activity. So Bryce, what would you do if you if you had 100? Sleep, and... sleep. I don't do it enough. Sleep. But you sleep have too much free time. You don't even I would need still to sleep, sleep that much. 200 days, I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. I'm oh. sleeping. I'm staying in. I will. Bryce, even what if would I'm you not do with that? I'm not gonna hold you. I like to sleep a lot too. I just lay in bed. Like I don't. I really like just days. chilling just by myself. I want to just sit my ass down and do nothing. I mean, I would take 100 of them days to do nothing. But like the other 100, like y'all don't want to go on no trip to do no fun shit. Like, we would have time to try. You have 200 days of sleep. This is you sleeping beauty. Yes. Like, that's the fuck, like, beauty. Goodbye. Beauty. I'm gonna wake up gorgeous. Thank and you. Well, well really call me NyQuil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. I just appreciate how we're able to talk about dealing with the things that weigh on us and maybe even the people around us. Your trauma made you stronger. It absolutely did not. <laughs> It made me yep. funnier though. If you yep. cannot find the laughter, the joy, life would be just sad as hell. I've always prided myself on learning from others' mistakes. I'm the youngest. No, I ain't gotta, no, I ain't gotta no, do them. No, dead ass. No, I ain't gotta make no, dead ass. You did it for me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and I really thought that that was my learning curve. Mm -hmm. I was like, there's no need for me to actually live yeah. through this because I've seen your mistakes and I'll never do that. When in reality. Yes, when in reality, mm -hmm. I got out of a relationship two years ago, and this man literally was like my world. I didn't realize how much I was consumed in this man's world, but the moment that he removed himself from me, I literally didn't know what was going on. And it almost kind of helped me connect the dots as far as why I do the things that I do. I always wondered, I was like, Ruba, why are you always trying to present yourself as so picturesque and desirable? Because I've always realized that that was something that I wanted to be like loved, like from a man. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that, um, I don't think that I would have realized that if I didn't go through that. Right. You know what I mean? I feel like I probably would have dismissed everyone else's problems yeah. um, because I wasn't able to relate. But throughout that experience of that breakup, it, it gave me a new perspective on life and how to deal with certain things and looking a certain way isn't everything. That's one thing that I've learned for sure. You can look the best, you can drive the best cars, you can have a great fucking credit score. That shit does not mean anything if your soul isn't right. True. right. You know what I mean? And I know for a fact that that's where I was and I I wasn't right. And he had to leave me to for me to realize what was going on. And look at you now. <laughs> but you guys, y'all know as long as the memes keep memeing, we're gonna be right here making it make sense. I need to, I need to go hug and call my mom.